In this video, I'm gonna show you six easy ways to break a broody hen. And later, I'm gonna give you one bonus way to break your hen. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So I have to smile about this video since I currently have two hens that are determined to be broody. Fortunately for you northern chicken keepers, broodiness is pretty much confined to the summer months. Broody hens can mean trouble for your flock and egg supply. To make matters worse, broodiness can often spread throughout your flock, so you need to break broody hens as quickly as possible. So let's get straight into it. First, let's talk about what is a broody chicken. A broody chicken is a hen that wants to hatch its own eggs. This can be caused simply by your hen getting older and maturing, or simply just the days getting longer. The increased length of the day encourages the body to release prolactin, which is a hormone from the hen's pituitary gland. Combination of prolactin and sunlight makes her broody, and she will sit on the recent egg she has laid. She will also likely steal other hen's eggs to make a clutch of eggs. Some breeds are more prone to broodiness than others, notably Cochins, Silkies, and Orpingtons. So how do you know if your hen is broody? Well, usually a broody hen will start by making a nest in a quiet, dark spot and will spend all of her time there. She will start carrying bits of straw and feathers to line the nest, and she will even pluck out her own feathers from her breast to keep her eggs warm. They will develop an attitude like grumbling, growling at you, even if you look at her. She may even give you a nasty peck if you try to move her. She will fluff up her feathers to make herself look bigger and more threatening. Her tail feathers will fan out like a turkey display. She does look quite fierce when she does this. They leave the nest perhaps a couple of times a day to eat, drink, and poop. Then she takes little in the way of nourishment, so she is likely to lose weight. Her normal poop will become large, infrequent, and very foul smelling. Her feathers will lose some of the usual sheens. Okay, so first, before I talk about how you can break the broody hen, let's discuss why break a broody hen. If her eggs are unfertilized or she's sitting on invisible eggs, she needs to be broken. She will sit until something hatches, which clearly isn't going to happen. This prolonged period of brooding can take a lot out of a hen. If she isn't eating well, only drinking a couple of times a day and is infrequently pooping, this is not good for her health long term. In extreme cases, a hen can starve herself to death. It has been said that broodiness is contagious one starts and the others will follow this means fewer eggs for you as well all right so now let's talk about how to stop this number one removal of the broody hen the first step is to keep removing her from the nest lift her and plonk her in the yard with the rest of the hens offer her treats to stay outside you may need to wear gloves if she pecks at you putting her under your arm and walking around outside for a while has worked in some cases you may have to do this several times a day it is really a contest of will on your behalf against hormones on hers. If you try this for a couple of days and get frustrated, move along to stage two, closing down the nesting area of the broody hen. This means exactly what it sounds like. The area or nesting box that she has chosen needs to be closed for the time being. However, if you're listening and you don't have a nesting box or you need to get a new one, then look no further. She will try her hardest to reopen the nest, but if she can't, she may decide not to be broody anymore. If it happens and you have more than one broody, they will steal someone else's nest so be prepared to shut down several nests at once. Number three, frozen water bottle and cold dips. I haven't tried this one yet. Luckily, I've broken mine pretty quickly. You need to place a cold or frozen water bottle under her while she is sitting for the step. It is thought that the cold will switch off the need to brood. If you don't have a frozen water bottle, then a cool bath undersides only works on the same principle. A quick note, please don't do either of these methods if it's cold outside. A warm sunny day is probably best. Number four, remove all nesting material. If you have a large flock, this may be totally impractical to do, but if you only have a couple of hens, it will be much easier. By removing the nesting material, you will deprive her of a suitable space for a nest, and chances are she will give up on nesting. Number five, stop access to the coop for the broody hen. This step is slightly more extreme than just closing the nesting box. It involves closing your entire coop up, including the nesting box. It can be problematic if you have other hens who need access or have a nesting site outside the coop. This this method is normally only when all your hens are broody at the same time. I feel like this may be obvious, but make sure you do this during
during the day because at night you don't want them just sitting out there like sitting ducks because at night you need to make sure they're protected from predators number six send them to broody hen jail also known as the cage or solitary confinement this consists of a wire cage or pet travel box it'll need to be very sturdy to hold the hen you're going to place her inside the cage with food and water only no bedding the cage is then suspended from the ceiling or just on blocks with the hen inside the idea is to make it uncomfortable and drafty to the undersides of the hen to discourage her brooding the amount of time needed to break the hen will depend on how determined she is check her daily by removing her from the cage if she returns to a nesting box back to jail she goes all right that's gonna do it just kidding this is a bonus one number seven go ahead and give her fertile eggs if you don't need her eggs for breakfast consider humoring her by giving her a clutch of fertilized eggs i know it sounds counterintuitive if you add a few chicks each year anyway this will cut down on shipping and chick costs because you're letting your broody hen hatch some of the babes of her own kind of a broody hen is a very dedicated mother and she will sit on those eggs until they hatch and once they do she'll fulfill her need to mother some chicks of her own if you don't have a rooster ask friends or neighbors or put an ad out for a few hatching eggs if you can break a broody hen of her broodiness though any of the methods on this list but a natural way to do it is to just give her some foster eggs to care for so it can be tough to break some hens if you have a particularly determined hen that resists all your efforts to stop her the solution may be giving her some fertile eggs so she can hatch them if you found this video helpful please be sure to also check out this video over here that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening thanks for joining us today please be sure to like the video subscribe and with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon